What's up guys, what I have for you today is a review of an iOS application called Opera Mini. This is a third party browser that's for iOS and this is also available on Blackberries, Windows Mobile, etc. Um, this is a free download from the App Store. So let's check the features Opera Mini has. So the speed is up to six times faster browsing um, even when it's on a slower network or when too many people are using the same network. Um, data savings compress up to 90% of data traffic. Speed dial gate to your favorite websites with a single tap. Um, visual tab see all your web pages and quickly switch between them. Opera link synchronizes your bookmarks, speed dials all together. And without further ado, let's launch the application. Okay, so it's all loaded up. This is where you type in the URL. And this is where you can search for things. In this case, they are using Google. Um, these are your speed dials, which are uh, your links to websites that you have on your home page. Um, you have your back button, forward button, reload button, um, your tabs. And you have bookmarks. So let's say if I want to go to, we'll do yahoo.com. All right, so error, encounter, whatever. So we're gonna go to bookmarks, and we can add Yahoo. And you can choose it to place it anywhere you want to place it. Uh, that's fine right there, save. And as you can see, Yahoo is in my bookmarks now. And to delete, manage, and you click on the trash can, Yahoo. And as you can see, Yahoo is deleted. Okay, so let's go back. History shows you the websites that you previously visited. Um, start page brings you back to uh, the home page here. Save pages. This basically worked the same way as a bookmark. So let's say if I wanted to go to Microsoft.com. Okay, then we go back, add a page, we're going to save it, then let's go back to our start page, go to save pages, load it, and we're back on Microsoft.com. And then to delete it, manage, trash can, and it's gone. Um, now let's take a look at your settings, load images. You can have this turned off. Now these settings are optimized to uh, make the browser load websites faster. Um, image quality, you have you can have it at low, medium, or high. I have it on high. Single column view, text wrapping, full screen, opera link. Um, you have privacy, remember passwords, accept cookies. You can clear the history, clear passwords, clear cookies. And yes, Opera Mini will remember passwords, so if you were to log in somewhere, it'll remember it. In advance, you have protocol, um, HTTP, socket or HTTP, network test. It's basically going to test it. Working network connection, that's a good sign. Let's go back. And of course, you have start page links. Alright, so we're going to show the find in page. So we're going to go to youtube.com slash Ben I sell guy. Okay, now we're going to find in page basically searches for things that are in that web page. So we're going to find subscriptions and as you can see 
it took me to my subscriptions that I'm subscribed to. Um, you can click on share, which basically shares this application with other social medias and then help. You basically have more help on Opera Mini, like you can learn more about it. About Opera Mini. This is running version 6.1. 6.5.1, I'm sorry. And you also have data usage, which shows you the amount of data you're using. So let me show you how the speed dial works. So we're going to click add. And we can select any address that we can add to our speed dial. Let's do my channel. As you can see, it has been added. Error occurred performing this operation. And yeah, if you okay, were whatever. to delete this, you tap and hold it. And you have clear edit, we're going to clear it. And now we got our empty space Now again. we're going to try out the tab browsing. So let's load Apple. We'll add another page. We're going to add GMC conversion vans. And as you can see, Apple is loading. And we'll load Google. And then you can add in more YouTube. And if you wanted to delete it a tab, you click on the X button twice. And then you're deleting your web pages. And if we were to click on a link, you can either click on it or just click and hold. And then you have more options, open a new tab, open image, save image, select text. We're going to open a new tab. Here's our new tab. And we can select the text. Select it. And we can copy. And we can put it in the search box. Paste it. Exit out. So as you can see when loading web pages, um, they are really fast as well as pinch and zoom. You can either pinch and zoom or once you're zoomed in, you can click on this arrow to zoom out. And then of course, scrolling is fast. Okay, so now what we're going to do is actually test the speed between Opera Mini and Mobile Safari. Now, please know this is an iPod Touch 4th generation, so this isn't a real test. This is basically a general test whether Opera Mini is faster than Mobile Safari. And before we do, we're going to go ahead and clear everything out. So, where was it? Okay, so we're going to click Clear History. Clear Passwords and clear cookies and then we do the same okay, thing so for settings safari. safari clear history clear cookies and data that's about it also we're going to double tap to open up the multitasking bar clear out all these applications running in the background So let's go back into Safari. The main point to put that on camera was that you don't be uh, suspicious about any funny business going on. This is a true test. So we're going to load up YouTube.com slash Ben I sell guy. And we're going to do the same thing in Safari. YouTube.com slash Ben I sell guy. Okay, and we're going to click go. 
and we're off. As you can see, this is a second generation iPhone, the iPhone 3G. Supposedly the iPod Touch load faster since it's a newer device, but it turns out the iPhone actually won because Opera Mini is faster than Mobile Safari. Okay, so here scrolling uh, on Mobile Safari, um, when you scroll, it would scroll and then stop. And if you were all the way down, you can tap on the top to scroll all the way back. Now on Opera Mini, if you just flick scroll, it just keeps going. And the same thing is if you tap on the top, it goes all the way back to the top. Now what if this was reversed? What if we had Mobile Safari running on the iPhone 3G and Opera Mini running on the iPod Touch? Okay, before well, we get on with the test, out. I'm going to go into settings on the iPhone. Scroll down to Safari. Scroll down, clear history, clear cookies, clear cache. Now the only reason why you saw three options versus two options on the iPod Touch is because this is running iOS 5 and this is only running iOS 4.2.1. So this is an outdated device right now. Some people still have it, like me, but not a lot. Okay, so we're going to launch YouTube.com slash Oh, I forgot to guy. clear everything on Opera Mini as well. So we're going to go to Settings, Privacy, Clear History, Clear Passwords, Clear Cookies. Alright, so we got them both ready. Let's load it up. And as you can see, Opera Mini is actually loaded faster. So this was just a general test for whether if Opera Mini was faster than Safari. For those of you that are looking for third party browsers on your i devices such as the iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad, and you want to replace Mobile Safari, definitely check out Opera Mini. Uh, I have to say by far it's the best third party web browser I have used on iOS devices. If you like this video make sure you hit the like button down below and if uh, you want to see more videos like this please click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.